Well, good afternoon, everybody. I want to first of all welcome you to City Hall here in Brockton. Um, I want to thank you for uh, joining us today. Uh, we will be celebrating Armenians Independence Day. Uh, I also want to uh, thank Ward 7 School Committee Member Tim Sullivan for being here, and Men Tron on behalf of DA Tim Cruz for being here as well. Before we begin, um, I, I need to recognize what happened and what is currently happening in, in Armenia right now. Uh, last night, the neighboring country of uh, Az Az um, Azerbaijan uh, took arms against the Armenian territory uh, and loss, loss of life happened last night. Uh, a lot of different Armenians uh, were either hurt or killed and uh, they did surrender that contested territory. For many Armenians, uh, this truly recalls the era of ethnic cleansing that took place in the early 20th century. Um, most of the celebratory events today planned for Armenian Independence Day have been canceled. Uh, we spoke, uh, Suzanne McCormick in my office and, my spoke, uh, and myself spoke with John Marion, a proud Armenian American, and uh, he thought that we should be able to move forward today, but to uh, have a moment of silence and also when we raise the flag uh, in honor of the tensions and the happenings this very day in Armenia, again, we should go to half mass and that's what we will do. So if we could just take a moment of silence right now for those that were lost and those that are hurt uh, in Armenia and in the territory. Thank you. On September 21st in the year 1991, the people of Armenia voted in a referendum to proclaim independence from the Soviet Union. Armenian independence was formalized on December 6th in connection with the dissolution of the USSR. Subsequently, Armenia joined the Commonwealth of Independent States, which is a, which is a regional intergovernmental organization uh, that was formed following the dissolution of the Soviet Union. Geographic uh, information about Armenia, about three million people uh, live in Armenia, but millions and millions around the world are Armenian descent, including many within our city of Brockton. Uh, Armenia is a landlocked nation bordering Turkey, Georgia, and Azerbaijan. Um, Cultural symbols in the landscape, one of the true uh, national symbols is uh, Mount Ararat. Uh, despite being outside the borders of, of the uh, of modern day Armenia, the mountain is a sacred, sacred location for all Armenians. Uh, it's considered the resting place of Noah's Ark. Uh, the mountain is featured throughout Armenian literature and artwork. Armenian's landscape includes spectacular natural rock formations, waterfalls, lakes, and beautiful mountainscapes. There are 10 cultural heritage items, uh, including prehistoric archaeological sites, cathedrals, monasteries from the Byzantine Empire dating back to 300 AD. Uh, the symbol uh, of our Armenia is, is really the, the people themselves, the beautiful uh, uh, artwork that's depicted uh, showing Armenian landscapes and the literature detailing uh, extensively the Armenian uh, country as a whole. Um, you know, the people are warm and the traditions are very hospitable. Uh, family is, is really the key importance, uh, specifically uh, children, which are deemed light of the home. Armenians are known for the love of dancing at any event and uh, we have witnessed that here in the City of Champions as well. Cuisine is based upon nuts and herbs and spices and wheat and vegetables and fish and fruits. And again, the apricot is deemed the national fruit of Armenia. They have many different sports that Armenians have uh, uh, excelled in, from wrestling to weightlifting, uh, soccer, uh, chess, boxing, and judo. So today, uh, we always, like anything in terms of recognizing the beautiful diversity in the city of Brockton and what makes Brockton Brockton today, we are proud to thank and recognize our, pr our proud Armenian Americans, those that are living here, those that are working here. Matter of fact, Anthony Kaskagian, who works for the city of Brockton, is a proud Armenian American. So I'm going to ask, uh, I'm gonna ask uh, Anthony to come up to the podium at this time. I want to thank you, Anthony, and your family. Uh, our, our, our thoughts and prayers are with you and your family. Of course, uh, Anthony's grandfather, Charlie Tataglia, uh, an icon in the city of Brock, a true Brocktonian, uh, recently passed. And our thoughts and prayers go to you, Anthony. 
official mayor proclamation, whereas on September 21st, 1991, an act that demonstrated the resolute spirit that has characterized, characterized its culture throughout the ages, Armenia declared its independence from the Soviet Union, whereas the Armenian people, in spite of suffering atrocities at the hands of the Ottoman Empire before, during, and after World War I, have maintained their cultural identity and traditions both inside Armenia and throughout the diaspora. Whereas Brockton's greatest strength is in our diverse population, including our residents and our business owners from our Armenia who have enriched truly our city with the introduction of their customs, their food, and their cuisine and culture. Whereas it is an honor to recognize the accomplishments and contributions of our citizens and business owners of Armenian ancestry and to extend them best wishes and continued success and prosperity. Now therefore, I, Robert F. Sullivan, as mayor of our city of Brockton, proudly proclaim today, it's the 21st, the year 2023 is Armenian Independence Day, and I respectfully, respectfully, and humbly urge all residents in our fine city to please join me today. And again, we do it in a solemn uh, state because of what happened last night and the loss of life in the territory. And our thoughts and prayers are with our Armenian brothers and friends. At this time, I'd like to give this to Anthony. recognize the city clerk Tim Cruz for being here always. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Now we'll go over to the flag and I'll have Anthony uh, probably raise it uh, to have a mask.